and let's pull out a piece of heat shrink. This stuff comes in all sorts of colors. I'm trying to uh, get rid of all my white stuff now, at least for this, because uh, when I'm using my wiring, I always use red and black. Red is always positive, black is always negative. So I want to do that with my heat shrink as well. So you can see I got some red here. I want to get this thinner stuff so that it's red so I can just look at it and know that that's positive. And let's pull out the scissors here and need a little bit of length. Let's see how this goes. I like to cover up the entire section all the way down to the LED so that the negative terminal never touches the positive. And from here, you want to take your heat gun. This is uh, 1500 watts, I think, so essentially it's just like a hair dryer. And if you don't have a heat gun specifically, just go out and get yourself a cheap hair dryer. Turn it on. Oh. One other thing, this gets up to 500 degrees Celsius, so that's got to be, what, 800 Fahrenheit? Everything around the area will also get hot, so you really want to do it in an open space where nothing else can catch fire, because this will, at 800 degrees, it will light paper. So, I don't know if the camera is going to show it, but that shrunk down pretty well and now that will never come off. The resistor is safe, the connection is safe, and there's not going to be any problems. So what we'll do now is get uh, some random pieces of wire here. There we go. So with resistors, it doesn't matter whether you put it on the positive or the negative, as long as it's in there. But uh, if you do pick one or the other, always make sure that every single one from there on out is consistent. You don't want to go mixing some on positive, some on negative. Consistency is really important with this stuff. So uh, let's get the wire strippers here. Now if you're doing this part right, there are people out here that can take a tiny little couple millimeters and wire it in, but I'm not so uh, dexterous or graceful. So what we'll do here, there's a few different ways to connect your wires too. I'll twist them around each other like that and then actually twist that braid again around the whole thing. I could have done this before I did all that heat shrink, and now that I'm thinking of it, I probably really should have. So again, uh, let's do all this uh, wiring first here. That's a little too thick, so we'll get a thinner bit of black wire. And of course, now that I want a piece of black wire, I can't find any, so... Let's just grab a foot out of here. And we'll twist this up. Now this uh, wire coming out of the LED is much tougher than standard wire so again I'm just gonna wrap this around as best I can and we'll solder that. Now let's put this in the alligator clip here. Heat up the gun for a second and again once it's smoking you know it's hot enough generally speaking. So touch it to the back That's enough there. That's enough there. 
I like to blob a little extra on. You don't really need to. There are some guys out there that will just put a quick little dab and that's it. And that's really all you need. But uh, again, like I say, there's a right way, a wrong way, and then there's my way. And uh, I don't necessarily recommend doing stuff my way, but that's the way I know, so that's the way I do it. So we got our positive and negative all set here. I'm using yellow heat shrink as my overall uh, color just to uh, it's an alert sort of uh, color it's hard to miss and it's not black or red so it's uh, essentially I don't know I just like it I guess but we clearly don't need that much so again you definitely want to make sure all your wiring is covered in any case regardless and again whatever colors you choose it's up to you but keep it consistent always consistent So this is a lot more heat shrink overall than I would could use in some cases, but uh, that's okay, I don't mind. If you're going to be really conservative about it, then you can definitely use a lot less than I am here. that's pretty much it this plastic is hot still and uh, sometimes I'll just quickly pinch it down so it uh, forms better but this isn't going anywhere and as I will now show you this circuit is still working is my bet voila LEDs will not light if you do it backwards and in some cases you can even blow them out if you put positive to negative not every time but sometimes they just like to so there we go with uh, soldering an LED to a resistor and heat shrinking it up from here these two wires lead out to your power supply or you can set up a bus where you got multiple wires running out from a single uh, single power supply and what I mean by bus and you can use basically something as simple and this little spring here can act as a bus and as you can see you can slip a bunch of negative wires or positive into all sorts of areas here it could be uh, little pins you could also use which I haven't yet myself is a breadboard where everything going across is a single uh, circuit so you would wire your negative power supply into this one and then the other three will act as a negative distribution path basically so if I put my positive on the second one every other positive going in there will also wire up and then you just cut these supposedly haven't used a breadboard yet myself but uh, that's technically how they're supposed to work and uh, what I'll do in the next video is show you how to hook this up to some fiber optics